BTS Jungkook here. Um, today we're gonna talk about the Logitech G303 and the video I made on it. So I made this video about the G303. It did pretty well. Uh, it was about the leaks. That well, it wasn't really a leak. If it was a leak, it came out internally. Okay, so some some guy driving the the dumpster truck that was trying to throw this thing out. Uh, it got into the wrong hands basically, and that did that video of mine that did pretty well. It seems that a lot of people want the G303 to come back, which is pretty cool. There's a wireless G303 prototype, you know, somehow someone found it. Um, and basically, we're going to go through updates of that. So first off, Escaldi. So Escaldi, he was given the opportunity to use the wireless G303 Shard Edition because the the mouse button on the right was broken. Uh, he would be repairing it, I'm pretty sure. But Logitech stepped in and like prevented that whole thing from happening. Uh, he's not going to answer any further questions, which I perfectly understand. I think he just wants to do what's in Logitech's wishes, even though Logitech, like in order for someone to receive that, in order for that to go into the wrong hands, Logitech messed up on that aspect and you know, Escaldi isn't legally binded to listen to Logitech, but I think he just wanted to do that. Yeah, you have nothing signed in with them in terms of NDA, so if Logitech stepped in, you mean you don't want to damage relations between you and them, I get it. So here's the thing, the fact that Logitech stepped in, I'm pretty sure, like I trust Escaldi a lot, I trust him. So I'm pretty sure he would not support this, he would not fake it. The fact that Logitech stepped in confirmed that it was a real thing, right? So that's pretty cool. But anyways, on my post on Reddit about the video, but yeah, but on my video post on Reddit, this this Logitech, I don't know, support, he's a Logitech support guy. I can't confirm if this is actually a real guy or not, but I'm sure that no one would put this much effort in, uh, in faking being a support member for Logitech. He commented on my video, like he gives people support in r slash Logitech G, which is kind of cool. I'm pretty sure he's hired to do that, but yeah, r u slash Logitech G underscore, CSJ ho uh, Sure, he commented on my video though. We cannot guarantee any future plans with our device assured that we are continuously finding ways to innovate We appreciate the continued support stay safe. Okay, first of all, you don't need to tell me to stay safe I'm the safest person in the world like my friends the other day. They were gonna go hang out in the sewer I'm too scared to go to Target alone The reason I'm so fit is because in the hallway when I turn off the light I look straight forward and just sprint. I am the safest person in the world. So don't stay assured. I'm gonna stay safe uh, uh, Jokes aside. This is like the most ambiguous statement you can ever make on the matter. Though we cannot guarantee any future plans with their device, so chances are this is just a prototype. This material, um, this is a very, the, the material on the sides, chances are that wasn't the finished material that they were using. That material is actually very common as a prototyping material. Uh, in the Pulsar Discord server, this is public stuff. I wouldn't leak anything, so don't worry. You can see on the X light, on the the, the first X light right there, um, I'll just put this in on post. The X light right there has that same prototyping material as you can see on the side of the of the G303, which is, you know, it's a shame. It's upsetting. So that's what they mean by the statement, though we cannot guarantee any future plans of the device. It means that, you know, uh, it's probably something that they just had behind the scenes that just came out and now people think it's going to be real, including me. But like I was hoping, there's a difference between believing and hoping me hoping very high i i hope so much but on the same level believing down here i did not believe it was going to happen at all way too risky i think he meant stay assured that we are continuously finding ways to innovate um sure logitech most innovative brand in the game they have one ultralight mouse which is only decent and $150. So yeah, thanks for watching. I'm sorry if this is upsetting news to you, but to me, to me, this broke me. <laughs> this is upsetting. This is crazy upsetting. I was looking forward to this so much. The only reason why I found this message is because I just found this message on accident. It was posted like six days ago, which is kind of unfortunate, but you know what? There's an update for you. So continue looking for that next mouse. Uh, this thing probably either won't be released or won't be released until like the near future like give it like half a year maybe a year even what this shows is that they have the capability and technology to be able to do this but it's just too risky to release it but we know that they have the ability to do this just very upsetting the this is very this is something that I feel like only the enthusiasts would freak out and nerd out about. Like chances are like, again, majority of the people are just like, ooh, that's a wireless mouse that looks really light and they don't really care about the shape or anything at all. That's what the G33 had caring for it. That's why they branded it with shroud. Anyways, thanks for watching. Sorry if this was upsetting news again. Bye. Oh yeah, subscribe too.